Hey guys, and welcome to a new series that I'm starting today. Um, and this video is going to be what you need to be prepared for when we have our first meeting. So whether that is you've gone online and you've signed up on my Calendly app and you've set up a time for us to talk, have a one-on-one -on -one consultation about travel, or if you filled out my Walt Disney World consultation form because you know you wanna do something in Orlando, whether that's Disney or Universal, or maybe a duo trip where you do both. Um, or maybe you've reached out to me by email and you've said, hey, we want to do XYZ in this country or in the Caribbean, um, and when can we set up a time to talk about our options and next steps? So this video is going to tell you what I would love for you to have prepared for um, when we first have our first meeting, and that will either be over FaceTime or on the phone. Um, but yeah, so let's get to it. So the first thing that I would love for you to know or have a roundabout um, time frame, and that is going to be your travel dates. So it's okay if you don't know the exact date. Maybe you know we want to do something in the spring or we want to do something in the summer or we're thinking of sometime in 2024. Can we check prices, a couple things here and there and see what our best option would be price wise? Those are great starting points. Um, that gives me something to go off of and it also helps me look into inventory in a certain direction. Um, so yes, if you just call me and say I want to go somewhere in the world and I don't know when I want to go, can you just check every single thing? It's going to take me a while to get back to you because it's going to take me some time to figure out where you could possibly want to go. So another thing that's going to help narrow that down is budget. If you can have a budget in mind, maybe it's a roundabout number, um, but I need something to go off of so I can check inventory. I need to know if it's this amount, I may not be able to get you a suite or oceanfront. Um, or maybe if it is that what you want, maybe we need to go to a different resort that might have some better options for you and your family. Um, the next thing I need to know is travel party size. If it's just a couple's trip, or maybe it's just a romantic getaway for you and your partner or your spouse, I need to know that so that I'm not looking for family suites or um, multi-bedroom uh, options for you and your family. I need to know what kind of accommodations to be looking for. And that's gonna help me. If it's a family trip and grandma and grandpa are going, I need to know that so I can either plan a separate room for them or if they're needing to stay with you, then I need to be looking at family suites and joining suites, that kind of thing. Um, or maybe we need to look elsewhere, depending on if this is a Disney trip or if this is a destination vacation where we want to go to the Caribbean or we maybe want to go to Alaska. Maybe you want to go to Hawaii. Maybe you want to go to Switzerland. I have no idea. If you don't know, I don't know. So if you can just give me some information to go off of, then we can get this booked quickly and start moving and grooving so we can get to the fun stuff. And the next thing I need to know is an idea of where you want to stay and what you want to do when you're there. So if this is a guy's trip, I'm gonna probably recommend maybe some golfing. Um, that tends to be a fun option for a group of guys. I don't book many bachelor parties. I don't book a lot of bachelorette party getaways, but these are things that we can talk about. And if I know information to go off of, maybe we just do a, you know, a beachfront property, um, you know, that has all inclusive and um, might be a good option for you and your family or your travel party. So um, knowing what kind of trip this is, whether it is a honeymoon, a romantic getaway, a couple's getaway, a family trip, family reunion, how many rooms are we gonna need for all those family members? Um, do we wanna book them all together? Do we wanna book separately? All those things are gonna help me um, and point me into the right direction for you guys. So um, those are kind of um, the big ones for me. Um, and then also knowing what um, kind of vacation this is, and let's narrow it down to tropical 
that's going to point me in direction. Let's look for some sand. Let's look for, look for some pools. Let's look for some bigger accommodations. If it's a family trip, um, is this an Alaskan vacation? Is this, um, international? Do we need to start talking passports? And do you have a passport? And do you need to get one, um, expedited? So, these are all going to be things that we need to talk about on our first conversation that you need to know about so that you can have those prepared for me uh, so that we can make this process as seamless as possible. Um, so the first step is going to be you reaching out to me and then the next step is me sending you my consultation form and it's going to help me um, know where we're going and when we're going and just get a little information from you, budget included. Um, but yes, so these are the things I would love for you to consider and think about at least before we get on the phone. Um, we can make these decisions together and I am so happy and feel so incredibly blessed to be a part of your vacation time, your travel time, your family time. Um, so yes, I would love for you to consider thinking about these things before we get on the phone. If you don't have time to do that, that's okay. That's what I'm here for. Um, but I also love not um, wasting your time. I don't want to sit on the phone with you for an hour if you already know where you want to go. So your time is valuable and we want to make the most out of your time, the most out of your budget, and the most out of the time you're taking off of work. Um, so. We want to help you, so if you can have these things, um, at least have a start a conversation with your travel party before we get on the phone. Um, if not, we'll figure it out together. But I just wanted to hop on here and just kind of give you a heads up of the things that I need from you. So I love you guys. Thank you for being here. I wanted to keep this short and sweet. Um, I know how valuable your time is, and so I appreciate it, you spending it with me. So. I love you guys. Reach out caroline at glassslipperconcierge.com and I would love to help you.